Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Vaseem here from the channel Handsome Smiles. Thank you for joining me on another review. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at a other it's from the house of Sultan Pasha and this one is called Al Harim. So Al Harim was uh, released in 2015 and classified as an oriental floral. Uh, the nose obviously is Sultan Pasha himself. He's a self-taught perfumer uh, of others based in London in the UK. Uh, let's just quickly go through the note list and then I'll give you my experiences of the scent. Uh, tell you of what sort of uh, performance I got on my skin and then my final overall rating. So at the top of Al Harim, you're going to get butter, rose and Iranian saffron. The heart of the fragrance is Turkish rose and sandalwood. And the base of the fragrance is Hindi oud, musk, ambergris, tobacco and hyrax. So hyrax, musk and ambergris obviously are animalic notes. So what did I get uh, from Al Harim? And before I go through my experiences, as you can tell, the note list of Al Harim is uh, not as extensive as some of the other others that I've uh, reviewed from Sultan Pasha. But don't let that fool you. This is a highly complex other that I found, uh, even though the note list is a lot, a lot smaller compared to his other others that I've tested. So Al Harim, I got two different uh, experiences whilst testing it. Uh, the two experiences weren't polar opposites. I just got higher nuances in certain wearings compared to other wearings. So in some wearings, I got more of this animalic, leathery musciness uh, with that Hindi oud. And in other wearings, I got more of the floral sweet rolls and the Hindi oud. So I still got uh, uh, the rose in the musky experiences and also got some muskiness and animalics when the fragrance was uh, more dominated by the rose. But I got more in certain wearings of the two different uh, nuances. So when I first started testing Al Harim, I was blown away. I was simply blown away. And I'm, a lot of the uh, others I've tried from Sultan Pasha have blown me away, but this one was uh, truly special. Uh, when I first applied Al Harim, I got this super musky, leathery, animalic uh, note with this uh, backbone of Hindi oud, which further intensified the funkiness. Uh, the scent was daring, it was challenging, and it was super complex, and it was just, I was just absolutely amazed by it. I absolutely loved the animalicness. And then on other wearings, I got more of this sweet, of the classic rose oud out there. I got this beautiful, sweet, floral rose with this funky Hindi oud. And I thought both different experiences were fantastic. But on subsequent uh, wearings, I got more of the similar sort of experience. When I first apply Al Harim onto my skin, uh, it opens up with this beautiful funky, musky, leathery, animalic hyrax note. And along with that, it's uh, it's also got very gentle, uh, funky Hindi oud. As the scent develops, the leathery muskiness starts to ease into the heart as it's joined by this very sweet floral rose, which helps uh, the scent it becomes a lot more smoother and I think there's a touch of sandalwood as well which helps to calm everything down it becomes a little bit more creamy a little bit more smooth the rose in Al Harim is uh, it's not like a overly sweet sugary uh, jammy rose uh, filled with vanilla nor is it a rose that's very bright or citrusy it's a very floral sweet rose Due to the sweet rolls that I get, uh, floral rolls and that musky, leathery, hyrax note. For me, Al Harim smells like a, a sweaty human skin where someone has sprayed a lovely uh, musky rolls over it or a, a very sweaty human skin with loads of rose petals. That's the sort of image that it conjures up. Uh, he, Al Harim, the notes in this uh, Uttar are absolutely beautiful. They're so natural smelling, especially the rose. I get uh, it just screams natural quality uh, when you're wearing it. It feels like you're surrounded by rose, and that muskiness, the leathery uh, hyrax that you get is outstanding. And that Hindi oud, it adds a woody uh, nuance to the scent and further adds to the funkiness as well. It acts as a beautiful base for the other notes to just surround itself. In terms of performance, Al Harim on my skin, uh, it lasted around six to eight hours with 
projection being strong in the first hour, but after that becoming quite moderate. It was the first uh, Sultan Pasha Uttar that I've worn, which wasn't screaming off my skin, uh, but I won't complain. It was, uh, it was a performance that I was still very satisfied with. Uh, overall rating for me, I think I absolutely adore musky animalic scents, and this was one of the best Uttars that really displayed that characteristic. It's going to get a perfect score of 5 out of 5. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have, then please do leave me a like and a comment below. And until next time, my friends, see you later.